Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, share. Everything you do does help the channel. And if you want to help it a little more, go over to my Patreon. Try to get yourself a mug, sticker, or tote bag. Link will be in the description. Also do exclusive giveaways on live streams. All right, 32 new Zippo designs coming this summer. Here's my video. We're going to go over every one and see how we like them. All right, so we're looking at these Zippo designs. We're going to start on the left. We see the red metallic with the Zippo emblem. Uh, it's pretty nice. So we got a black mat with the Zippo emblem. And we got a street chrome Jim Bean, also pretty nice. Following right after is the black mat and then a street chrome. The black mat has this really cool graffiti style design. I'm really liking it. Uh, I'm really drawn to it. And the Zippo street chrome is just that. It's just a regular Zippo emblem street chrome, uh, run of the mill. Uh, I guess it's a new design in a way, but it's still, it's still all right if that's what you're into. But I'm really liking that black mat. And as it scrolls down farther, we're going to see another red metallic uh, Zippo emblem uh, lighter. Uh, it's, it's good in its own rights, but the 540 comic book design on the right of it, the yellow, uh, it, it is just, it just booming. Like, it just speaks. It really stands out. I really enjoy that. I like how they wrote a Zippo in there as, like, one of the action words that they write in the comic bubbles when something gets hit it, it's really funny i really like that zippo i would just like to see them do the 540 design like this one in an armor i think that really hit the spot all right so we have uh, jack daniels and james bonds here the james bonds just on a black mat and the jack daniels just says it's on gray i don't really know what that means probably some sort of lighter gray mat it's just a like sticker picture on it same with the james bond one and then uh, below it, we have currency. It's on a black ice. It's the pyramid symbol there that's on the dollar bill. And then a Ford truck beside it. It's really just a classic truck uh, guy standing beside it, old timey picture. Uh, just a reminiscent Ford Zippo. I, I wouldn't say it's too original or something like completely new. I've seen lots like this, but uh, still new nonetheless. Okay, so these ones here, I actually really, really, really like. The artwork is amazing on here. It just stands out. Vibrant colors, very wise choices, uh, wraparound scenery. It, it's just, it, it, they're really nice. Uh, they say white matte, so I'm guessing it's just printed on a white matte. And then it's the 540 color design ones, just like the Zippo comic book one there. The yellow I liked earlier on the other page. Uh, you see a deer here on the one, a moose on the other. I'm not going to lie, probably going to get that moose one. I absolutely love that. Uh, the sun setting, uh, the dark water. And then this other one here with the bear, they got the different type, the yellow haze sky. Uh, really, really nice. I really love uh, what they were able to do with this 540 design. It's just keeps blowing my mind and uh with the technology they have uh, what's available to them uh, they're gonna do some really really cool things with these it makes me wonder because i have that old camel zippo and it was it's the purple one where he's uh, sitting on the bike and like it's it's got a wrap all the way around it and it was all printed on that wrap and as the wrap wore off it's actually all white underneath it too so i wonder if this is like they say it's some new 540 design but like how how new is it and then that ended a very nice brass fishing zippo. So on the other side of the page, we get to see some really cool John Smith Goombla Australian artist uh, artwork there. We get the high polished teal and the black ice chrome. And then we also get the mercury glass on the right there. Uh, all really cool zippos. Uh, the purple iridescent finish also really stands out. Uh, I really do like them all. They're all really nice. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting either one of them. Uh, whether or not I am going to get one, though, uh, we'll see what's available in, on Zippo.ca because that's where I have to order from. And then as we get down, you see a reminiscent nautical 540 design uh, all the way around color. But it's not the same one uh, as the other ship you're seeing. This is a new uh, Crimson Sky kind of looking design. Really, really nice. And then... On the left side, you see a high polished brass uh, with laser engraving, uh, just Zippo showing off their uh, technology again, a very nice Zippo. Uh, I want to see more of the laser engraving from them. All right, so these next ones you're going to see here, it says Cannabis Design in Santa Cruz. 
Uh, Zippo has teamed up with Santa Cruz Skateboard Company. They're going to be putting the images from underneath their skateboard decks onto Zippo's. And it's just some really cool, trippy custom artwork you're going to see. A little bit of everything. It's going to be very different. I think it's really cool how Zippo's doing this because they really need to branch out and get like art from other art places and you know put something that's a little bit appealing to everybody not everyone wants the same old boring things on zippos uh a lot of those older users aren't really around anymore and the new younger users want their newer younger designs on them so this is probably the smartest thing they're really gonna do i uh, really like things like this that they're doing i think it's really stepping up their game and then when we get down to the bottom here we're gonna come i know it's going slow but like we're gonna come across some very very nice zippos uh it seems that everyone is making some money off some gaming and uh, degenerate gamblers because these zippos are in here they're a little bit more higher price but they brought back the barrett smythe uh poker reveal hand zippo it's uh but now the cool thing about it is it's a poker reveal hand zippo but it reveals a card that says zippo under it but it's skeleton hands uh i'm definitely getting this one uh you know what's funny because like i always did like the barrett smythe poker hand version one but like i never really wanted to get it uh, just because whatever it just didn't appeal to me but to see it with the skeleton hands now it's something different something new uh that does draw to me and then there's a luck fortune one there on the other side you just see uh, the charms there and then on the other one of that you also see a chest design on just a regular old street chrome uh nothing too out of the ordinary there and then we get to over here on the other side of the page very last page we see the playboy on like a spectrum finish and it's actually laser engraved i i really do like that uh it's it's nice it's exactly what i'm asking for more laser engraving on the zippos i think it looks nice and i think it does a good job and then we have the color splat image there on a street chrome and then we got some skulls uh the one is also on a street chrome it's like it's protruding out of the zippo and then one that says it's on a green mat uh and it's just like a white vinyl sticker probably i'm assuming and uh, it looks really good. And then right below it here, it says we have this street art. And the artist is over from in the UK. And he specifically specifies in like doing uh, really cool lettering and symbolism and like with lettering and words. So expect to see a lot of different cool designs from him, from Zippo. Uh, another cool team up they did. Uh, with some more street artists you can remember the street artists they teamed up with in the 540 designs that had it on the wall so and now that that's over i want to look at these inserts i ordered uh two of every one of these inserts the the top ones you're seeing here have a chimney cap attached to the flint wheel and that's going to help you save fluid and then on the bottom of them they they're also steel enclosed with a filling port and the you know, still you get to access your flint and they fit in a zippo now the ones underneath have a chimney cap attached to the camp so it's less of a nuisance you still got the regular zippo feel but they have a rubber gasket on the bottom and i don't really like the rubber gasket and they do work and they hold fuel great and everything like that but uh i prefer an all enclosed metal tank so what I really got both of these different inserts for was so I can chop the pieces and take the cam chimney cap from the other insert, put it on this insert with the steel bottom case and have the exact perfect fluid containing insert. I, I Honestly, I think with all those things together with the bottom case enclosed with the steel gasket on the bottom and then the chimney cap on the top your zippo's not really going to lose that much fluid it's going to stay really well because i know for a fact those war armors if you just leave a regular insert in there with the lid closed it'll last a very long time in there because of the rubber seal on the lid it, it they're just perfect and that's what i want to get to so thanks for watching let me know what you would think about those inserts and uh get it down in the comments